Just St. Augustine, a city commissioner says the way to help reduce flooding may have to do with the new way houses are being built. Get this right now. An entire parcel can be paved over. No dirt or grass showing at all. It is perfectly legal in St. Augustine. On your side, Jessica Clark reports on the idea to change that now. By and large, St. Augustine is a floodplain. Flooding. St. Augustine has been flooded more consistently and more frequently in the last four years. City Commissioner John Valdez, who also happens to restore old houses, says a particular rule in St. Augustine doesn't make much sense. And oh, by the way, you can pave 100% of your property. Concrete and buildings can cover the entire parcel. It's, it's been boggling my mind for about 30 years. I've been trying to talk, I've been talking about for 30 years. So he's proposing to change the rules when constructing new buildings in St. Augustine. That we encourage or require that buildings be built like the old timers did on crawl spaces. And he suggests not letting homes be built on concrete slabs. The idea is pretty basic. If water has soil or grass to go to, it will seep in. If water or rain falls on pavement, it will run off or rise into homes and onto streets. Water is standing under this house from the rain we had two days ago. It has a crawl space. All that water is laying there right now, which is not a good thing, but it's better having it here than in their house or in their house or out on the street. But are homes with water underneath them okay? As long as the house is well ventilated, it doesn't hurt a thing. If that was the case, all these old houses built in the 1800s wouldn't be here. He says requiring homes to be built with crawl spaces may get pushback from modern contractors because they think it could be more expensive. But what does it cost the taxpayer in the city every year with we have these big rains and we have houses that flood and streets that back up and street, I mean, it's, you know, it, it, somebody pays for this. The way he sees it, changing climate and changing water levels may just call for changes to new homes. In St. Augustine, Jessica Clark, First Coast News on your side.